Today we are going to one of the best places to get the greatest view of New York City. So where are we heading? We are on our way to the Hudson Yard. So just a friendly reminder, the best way to get there is the 7 train. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are in the edge. So we are now entering the edge. So just to let you know guys, if you're interested to coming to the edge, make sure you have your vaccination card or they will deny your entrance. So today my cousin Cynthia and Brenda and I are finally coming for the first time ever to the edge. Brenda! So the tickets are $36, but if you're a New York City resident, you'll only pay $34, which that is the discount. Is it worth visiting the edge for $36? Well, that's what we're going to find out today. In my opinion, I actually like it. It's very futuristic. So we are on our way to the elevator. So we have just made it to the elevator and it's supposedly 60 seconds just to get to the top floor. These screens are projecting New York City. This is the best elevator ride I've ever been to. It is so incredible. Oh, I felt that in my ears. Thank you. Yes, guys, we finally made it to the edge. One of the greatest places to get the best views of New York City. And we are exactly a hundred floors over Manhattan, which is technically about 1,131 feet over New York City. Wow. So the edge is actually one of the highest outdoor observation deck in the Western Hemisphere. The best time to be able to take the perfect pictures are in the morning. After that, it's always packed. We are above all the buildings. Oh my God. We're walking on the glass. Wow. This is amazing. Wow. We're at the top of the building. Most people aren't afraid to walk over this glass. Are you? You don't like it? I do. It's okay. So for me, you can get a view of Central Park right over there. So coming to the edge is a great experience where you could see all of Manhattan in just one day. So if you're over 21, there's actually a champagne admission that you could drink champagne while getting a great view of New York City. If you're scared of height, I do not recommend this. Since it's glass, you could literally feel you're right there. So just to let you know, the champagne admission costs $53. So there is also a mini souvenir store. Oh, look at these cute little pins. Oh, I like this one. That one is nice. 
This is so cute. I don't want to look like Bubbles, my little chihuahua. A little keychain. Oh, they even have little stickers. They're so cute. Out of the edge, so now we're walking inside the mall, and there's this very cute store. We have a candy. Let's check it out. Oh, so cute! We get to see the vessel from here. Oh my god! It's so amazing here. So we are heading to Dylan's candy bar store. Hmm? The card? Oh, okay. You can actually break this little pumpkin come with a little hammer. I should get this for Halloween. This would be a perfect gift. Mm -hmm. Cute little bunnies. Look at that, these little teddy bears. So cute. They have bacon. Wow. Chips. I actually never tried a bacon one. Hmm. Red velvet. Oh, I remember I used to buy these when I was in elementary school. Wow, these are so cute. They even have ice cream. They have Nutella. Cookie Monster. Cookie Monster? Wow. Classic. You, you want to try it? Marshmallow class. Marshmallow? Like double Oreo. See? <laughs> wow. You want to try the Cookie Monster? Yeah. You have the toasted marshmallow. Which one? Oh, that one? You want to try it out? Which one you want to try? Uh, so these, I always just used to go to the museum just to get this. Thick one. My favorite was always the blue one. Or the turquoise. So my cousin got the cookie butter milkshake. It's good? And we got the toasted marshmallow milkshake. I feel like it's gonna fall. I feel like it's gonna fall. Oh my god, it looks so good! Good? How is it? Oh my god, so good. It's delicious. Mmm. <laughs> this is delicious. Wow. So I hope you guys have a great day and you enjoy this wonderful video. And I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.